Oh, uh, hello folks. I'm just sitting here going through some old 45s. I know I did a whole series like eight episodes a while back showing my 45s one after another and I just have so many I can never get enough of them. The Bell Records label, Terry Jack, Seasons of the Sun, Chuck Berry on Chess, the Buckinghams. Oh my goodness. Is this Hey, uh, hey Baby? They're playing our song. Oh, Columbia. Oh, The Outsiders. Time Won't Let Me. Remember that one? The Cow Sills, Arraign the Park and Other Things on MGM. Kama Sutra Label, The Lovin' Spoonful, You Didn't Have to Be So Nice. Dave Clark 5, over and over. Love it. Oh, I like the classics too, like Nat King Cole, Ramblin' Rose on Capitol. I mean, so many. I could go over my 45s over and over and over again with you folks because we love music. Since I was a kid in the 60s, I've loved music. But what is the greatest record ever made? We all have opinions about that. Let's be honest. We overlap sometimes and have similarities, but we all have different pieces of wax, vinyl that we love, what we think is the greatest record ever made. And we can change our mind from one minute to the next. Let's be honest. One minute we have a particular one we love, the next minute, oh, this is the greatest one I love. It changes all the time. And, and we can have one or many at the same time. We can have tons of records that we think are the greatest record ever made. It's unbelievable because they all tell a story for us, folks. And I think you can all relate to me. They all have a story behind them. Every song, every piece of music we love means something to us. It has a personal, close meaning to our hearts and in our souls and in our mind. Uh, it can remind you that greatest record you love can remind you of that special loved one in your life, maybe a special place in your, in your life, a special time or an experience you had during your life. And that record is the greatest record because it brings you right back to that. And when you hear it, you go right back to that memory. It takes you right back to that moment and everything floods back into you. You remember where you were, who you were with, what you were doing, what were the emotions, what were the feelings. Oh, I love it. Memories can be good memories mostly, but they could be some sad memories too. Some bad memories could come flooding back based on a particular record you hear, that greatest record. Oh, for me, it's a place where I first heard it a lot of times. It could be at school when I was in school and I knew of, became aware of a particular greatest record or I felt was the greatest record. Maybe it was an old girlfriend, you know, takes me back to that old girlfriend I had or a place I worked. I used to work at a Burger King and we used to listen to records all the time. Oh my goodness, is this during the mid to late seventies? Hangouts with friends. Certain records remind me of hanging out with friends. Uh, everyone is important, folks. Every one of those greatest records to me is important. Well, folks, I'm here to tell you, you want to have those memories come flooding back. You want to bring back the past in all its glory for you. You need to get this book right away, folks. It's called The Greatest Record Ever Made, Volume 1 by Carl Caffarelli. Folks, this book is absolutely fantastic. I am so excited and happy to have this, folks. Now, Carl Caffarelli has been around for quite some time. He's around my age, so I know he's been around quite some time. He is fantastic. He also wrote a book I reviewed not too many months ago called Gabba Gabba Hey, A Conversation with the Ramones, which is a fantastic book where he interviews... The majority of the Ramones, it's absolutely wonderful. I suggest you check it out. And also, he's written for Goldmine Magazine. He has written for uh, a lot of different publications like the Syracuse New Times newspaper. He's written for Rhino Records. He has written for Discographies, Discographies, which is an online music publication. And he also co-hosts a weekly rock and roll radio show on Syracuse FM radio. It's, it's broadcast on FM in Syracuse. It's also on the internet and it's called This Is Rock and Roll Radio. He's been doing it for years with Dana Bond and I've been listening for years, folks. It's one of my favorite radio shows of all time. 
So Carl has captured everything I just spoke about where records bring back those memories, those emotions, those feelings to you, and you feel they're so important and you feel they're the greatest thing ever. He captures it in this book, folks. What he has done, he has taken 145 records that he feels are the greatest records ever made. And he's compiled them in this book and put a short little essay with each one, only about page, page and a half, two pages at the most long, where you can read about what he feels are the greatest records ever made. And folks, I'm telling you, because I went through this entire book, many are probably going to match what you feel are the greatest records ever made. You may agree, you may disagree, but... Either way, you are going to agree that the magic of the music and its power over our emotions, over our spirit, it's real and it's true. It's absolutely true, folks. So I'm giving you the highest recommendation to pick up this book because you're talking, this thing runs the gamut. The ones he has picked as the greatest records ever made runs the gamut of 50s artists we love like Elvis, Buddy Holly, Chuck Berry, Little Richard, and so many more. You're going to see what songs he picked for those artists in here. Up to artists that are still active today in all kinds of genres, not just rock and roll or power pop. You name the genre, it's probably in here as one of the greatest records ever made, according to Carl. It's all fun. It's all... You're going to read this and it's just going to make you smile and bring you back to special memories in your life as well. Because if you're like a child of the 60s like I was... He's covering artists in here. They each get they get picks in here. The Beatles, the Beach Boys, Paul Revere and the Raiders are in here. The Hollies, the Birds, Petula Clark. I'm, I'm telling you, folks, the Temptations, Otis Redding, Leslie Gore, Aretha Franklin. Try to guess which one you think he picked for each of these artists. The Monkees, the Rolling Stones, the Who, Smokey and the Miracles, the Dave Clark Five, the Fifth Dimension. I could go. There's so many cool 60s. The Cow Sills are in here. The Jackson Five, Sly and the Family Stone, the Monkees. Then you go out to the 80s, and some of my favorites of the 80s are in here, like Cheap Trick, Big Star, Bad Finger, Raspberries, Kiss, Paul Collins, Beat, the Ramones, Bruce Springsteen's in here. Uh, the Bay City Rollers, Carpenters are in here. Folks, unbelievable. There's newer artists in here. Like when I say, uh, I, won't, I don't want to give it all away because that would like, I think it would give away too much. But I can go up another decade and tell you there's 80s artists in here like Prince, the Go-Go's, the Bangles, Joan Jett and the Blackhearts, Elvis Costello and the Attractions, the Tramps. Um, folks, Donna Summer is in here. I won't tell you which song he thinks is the greatest, but Donna Summer is in um, Folks, this is unbelievable. And the chapters are so well laid out. Like, okay, I'll give you one here. Here's The Runaways. He picks The Runaways' Cherry Bomb as one of the greatest records ever made. And you get like a page and a half, two pages on that particular track and why it means so much to Carl. There is Carl and all his smiley glory right there. Okay, you can read that or freeze it if you'd like. So, folks, I'm telling you right now, this book is absolutely wonderful. The Greatest Record Ever Made, Volume 1 by Carl Caffarelli. Folks, I go through 45s. Many of the 45s I love are in Carl's book. He picked the songs that I love. And then there's some I didn't expect. All right, I'll give you one more because it's pretty commonality that this is one of the greatest records ever made. Louie Louie by The Kingsman is one of the greatest records ever made, according to Carl and according to me too, Matthew Street, because I love it. And there's Beatle tracks in here. Some artists even get more than one pick. And I'll give you, oh, no, I don't want to give it away. I don't want to give it away. you got to get this book, folks. So I'm going to put the link below. The chapters are so fun, so easy to read. Carl has a great uh, approachable writing style. It's very casual and laid back. It's like you're, it's like you're hearing from a friend telling you about these wonderful. Okay, I just showed you another one. The Who I can't explain is one of the 145 in here, folks. You're gonna love this book. It is so wonderful. And I'll do a random one more. How's that? Random one more. All right. I did. Uh, okay. Uh, let me pick. <laughs> I say random, but then I'm trying to find one of my favorites. Oh, okay. I know a lot of you fans out there of this band. Where is I just passed one I thought you'd like? I'll show you one more. All right. Uh, come on. Where is I? I passed it. 
All right, I'll show you this one. Rolling Stones, Get Off of My Cloud. Great, great track, folks. I don't want to give too much away, but there's 145 greatest records ever made, picked by Carl, in this book. I will put the link below, and it'll be the first comment in the narrative with the link where how you can get this fabulous book, folks. Check it out. You're going to love it. Folks, what can you say? The memories come flooding back. You think of what you believe is the greatest record ever made. You're going to agree with many of these. You're going to maybe disagree with some of these. But either way, you're going to love it. And it's going to bring back nostalgia, fun, and memories. And it's going to make you smile either way, folks. So check out Carl Caffarelli's brand new book, The Greatest Record Ever Made, folks. Link will be below. Check it out. And come back and let's have a conversation. Tell me what you think were some of your favorites in this book. Tell me what you think should be in this book, all right? I know I have some ideas, and I'll be happy to share them with you if you comment and like and subscribe and buy this great, fabulous book by Carl, because he's a great guy. Love you all. Bye-bye.